Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're down in St. Anne's for the annual Kite Festival. And there was one particular question that we wanted to ask, wasn't the Bex? And that is, how accessible is the actual Kite Festival? Because as you can see, quite a lot of the event is taking place on the beach, including the fun fair they've got over there. But St. Anne's prom is absolutely packed, which is great to see. Got loads of little stalls and other things on. So we're gonna have a wander around, see what we can do, and then maybe, go and fly our own kite. So come on, let's roll into the St. Anne's Kite Festival. I have never seen St. Anne's Beach so packed, full of people. Absolutely glorious to see, enjoying the day in the sun down here at the Kite Festival. So as you can see, there's a bit that's all cleared out in the middle and roped off. That is where the actual kite flying is. You can see a big octopus one just making its way skyward. Look at that, how fab is that? If we look above the skies, above the pier, you can see some sled kites up in the sky. And then this dragon has just taken off as well. That dragon is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. It's flapping its wings. I love that. It's fab to see so many people out and about especially on this lovely day. It's currently 23 degrees down here, experiencing this heat wave along with the rest of the UK. Oh my God, porta potties out. We've got the tornado potatoes, I've just seen that. Oh, we're just coming up on a couple of food stands as well. And we'll check out, see what they've got down here. So as you would expect at a kite festival, they're selling kites. So let's go and have a look and see what they've got. They do take all kinds of card and cash, but let's see what they've got across here, kite-wise. So it's got the mini diamond ones yet, it's stereotypical ones in the diamond shape, all different designs. Those are £8.50 and £9. A little uh, octopus design. Let's have a look around the other side and see what there is. There's other ones as well, £6.50 and £10 again. These are the uh, bigger diamond ones, but you've also got like the super flyer ones, so like the diamond, tri uh, the triangle ones alongside the diamond ones. Oh look, that's a Disney princess one. Oh look, it's got a boo on it. Yeah, that's ace. We should be able to see what is inside. So we've just got Charlie one of these ones. These are the pocket sled. Single line kites, £8.50. See how that flies. Just along the back wall, there are big diamond stunt kites. Those ones are 15.50 for the big ones, but there is a big mega one just at the back, just there, which is 65 quid. One of these, ones? <laughs> these ones are cool though. These are all different animals. So we got a butterfly, we got a hawk, snow owl, we've got a single one. Yeah, awesome. And those are 15 pounds. But look at this, just above the sky and taking off from the pier. Look at that. A big, massive one with a big, long tail. That is awesome. Look at these ones, these birds. How cool are they? They're fantastic. That was like uh, forks from Harry Potter, doesn't it? The Phoenix. <sighs> wow. Alongside the Kite Festival, we've also got a fair on the beach. Big hella skeleton over there. Big, massive Ferris wheel. All this on the beach. And I tell you what, on a nice day like today, that snow slide is looking extremely inviting. I tell you what, look at this hot crumble puddings. Five pounds for apple, rhubarb, and mixed berry. Look at that being made right there. I tell you what, though, it might be a little bit too hot for that. But they have got custard. Oh! Look at this. Yorkshire pudding wraps are here. Yeah, I mean, look at that. All the meats in there. Oh, she's making one right now. Oh, God. Does that look so good? I thought you might be. I mean, look at that. So one of the things we are always looking for when we go to events is uh, toilet facilities. And we've got this. We've got Access Loo, a fully inclusive toilet and changing. How awesome is that? So they are on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And uh, Bex was just chatting to uh, this fella down here who actually built, or was actually built these. And he was saying that all the people who build these accessories are wheelchair users and disabled people themselves, which gives them jobs 
and employment, but it also means that they're in the mindset and they know what people need. Because you know what the portaloos that they've got around the place aren't that amazing, but how cool is it to have something custom built? Came up the, uh, up the uh, lift. That was very cool. Very smooth as well. Didn't dry. I didn't find my head on the uh, bus. Here we are. Okay. Watch your feet. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Scary feet, scary feet. Scary feet. Okay, this is the coolest thing I've ever style. seen in my life. This is called the Hot Wheels Defender. And it's <laughs> serving chilled beer from independent brewers across the UK. And it's beer from the back of a Land Rover. How cool is that? Uh, £4.80, £6.60 for Jaffa Cake Stout. Wow. That is very cool though. So as well as the Kai Festival, it's also the open day for the RNLI down at St Anne's. But look at this, there's a human fruit machine. <laughs> So as you can see, the kite festival is well underway. Loads of people enjoying the uh, sunshine. But whilst we're down here in St. Anne's, it's also St. Anne's Lifeboat Open Day. So this is our third one we've been to. We've been to the Fleetwood one, the Blackpool one, and now St. Anne's. But what we're actually doing right now, me and Charlie are in the queue because you can go on board their Shannon class on board the uh, Barbara Ann, I think it's called, which is normally housed in that building there but today they've got it out along with their inshore lifeboat i think they only have that these two here as opposed to fleetwood and blackpool having different ones and more ocean going ones but this is definitely one of the biggest ones on the far coast right so we didn't manage to get to go on it this time the queue was getting way too long it's way too hot to be hanging out there but i have just learned about these numbers on here so the 13 represents the class of boats, this is a Shannon class, and the 24 is the 24th, one made. But look at that big cat crawler underneath to take it to the sea. How fantastic is that? So we're just making our way along the prom, and the fun fair is on the beach, which is great, but unfortunately we can't get Bex down there because it is really soft sand. I wish they had some beach wheelchairs up this end of the coast. So Charlie's loving the beach. Playing with his friends, look at that, how cool is that? So as this is going on, the Southport Air Show is going on, the Spitfire's just gone across and uh, there's the hurricane going back home. So just coming, just in a moment as well, the Lancaster's going to be here. There it is, there it is, I can, I can hear it. Yeah, it looks like it's hardly moving. Whoa, look at this! Hello, beautiful aircraft. Look at how Lancaster's in. Coming back into the... Uh, Land back at Blackfoot to refuel before it goes back home, back to RAF Coninsby. Okay, our own mini air show from uh, Southport. Look at that, it's coming back round again, it's going to come right over us. Oh, but it's going to hit the kites. Where is it? It's, where is it? It's right above us. Look at that. So Charlie's just come off the beach. Um, could you have any more sun? <laughs> Look at him. You <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> Look how much. Oh. <laughs> oh, Look at you. Oh, I'm so glad you had fun though. <laughs> so the Northwest Blood Bike Service is out. Look at this. Charlie's having a seat on a bike. How cool is that? Yeah. Look at you. 
<laughs> for me, just for me. Yeah, awesome. awesome. You're gonna put the helmet on, babes. <laughs> Shut you out. <laughs> Next Lewis Hamilton. Oh, that's A day out at the Kai Festival down in St. Anne's. First time we've ever actually been to that, if you can believe it. All the years that we've lived here, I mean, we've lived here all our lives, um, but that's an annual event that happens down in St. Anne's. First time we've ever been. Um, it's on until tomorrow, so Sunday the 10th of September. It starts on Friday, so it's like two and a half days worth of events. But um, do bear in mind, if you are going to go down to it, it gets extremely busy. It took us... Um, just to go along Squiresgate Lane and up the prom to St Anne's, it took us around about 45 minutes um, and probably the same to get out after we've been at the event. So just do bear that in mind, possibly going on public transport is the best. You can get the train straight in St Anne's, so that might be a, might be a good idea if you're planning on going to that next year. Well, well worth going. Um, great to see the guys from, um, uh, from Accessaloo. We had a look inside that. That was really great. Uh, the Spirit of Air Kites company was there. We bought a couple of kites from them, so really, really good. Um, but all in all, a great little event. So if you're in town next year, do go check that out. Um, it happens around about the 7th through the 9th, I think it is, of September. But do check out Facebook for more information. If you've liked this video, make sure you go ahead, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the Masked Tear Party already, what are you doing? You know exactly what to do. Smash that button. But for now, we'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you.